Welcome back guys to Code Like I. So we are going to learn how to export records from data table using Python. Using Python. So uh, we're going to start by opening an existing project. I'm going to explain to you and I'm going to go through how that is done. So we have our admission project. Uh, so let me close the necessary tabs. Let's start from scratch. Close this, close that. Mm, template not necessary then yes yeah, so open our terminal then we start the project artisan serve uh, yeah so we now load it in our browser look i was 8000 slash login yeah cool like guys password is password so over here is the application and we have the dashboard applicants reports and system so what we're gonna do is to navigate to the system and open the audit trails and the audit trails you also have system users where it locks every the last activity of every user of every user so we just open the audit trails and as you can see uh, so we have some records here and anytime a page is loaded you see uh, it locks something inside the audit trail if you don't know how to set up data table we already have an existing video on how to do so on how to do so so yeah, as i said just logs the the recent activity of the user the recent activity of the user so you can see the action buttons on the top the print resets reload and excel so we're gonna take advantage of the uh data tables uh, button and we're gonna add on our own handler to it you get it so yeah so we open our composer.json and i will show you the package name so see okay so i have installed a couple of packages so we have carbon and which comes so we have line number 18 is jadra laravel data table see if you install wk2 image to pdf and all that so all you need to do is install the jadra slash laravel data tables we have our data tables already there so we just pick the routes and look at how we're able to log it so web.php and then let's search for the trios so there we go uh, admin controller at others so let's find our admin controller first there you go find a function audit okay so that's on line number 23 so this is how we were logging the activity so the moment you open the audit trio alt user log we've gone through all this in our previous video so no need to explain again so just watch our previous videos on uh, lava audit trails and also on data tables you will understand so over here is our data table buttons uh, in the public function HTML. if you open your data table class uh, so these are the buttons that we see the excel the reload and the print so yeah so this is the excel and we can see we've already exported uh, the, the hotels the activity then the timestamps and all that um, so we'll just go through the, the the buttons again so we will just take advantage of this button so what you're going to do is to give it a new name of uh, should i say download something uh, if you're using the latest version of data table it should allow you to um, give it your buttons a new name you get it so we're gonna do is uh, the reason why we are doing this we have like a million records your data tables can break you get it so you have a million records your data tables can break so we're gonna do is to we're gonna create um, a cedar a cedar class we're gonna seed our data our database with like should I say 10,000 records or maybe 100,000 records but before that we will just test our 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 data table export to see how it's working so set a cedar created successfully uh okay so first go into our cedar and the uh, run we just have our for loop um create a for loop and then for yeah so we can just grab this code here you utilize it at the other end
so we say we are logging the user id the username the date and the activity we will edit the activity column so instead of picking the login activities in the seed i'll just look for the first user which probably most of the times is the admin the logged in user so we change our variable from this to user because that's the we are just looking for the first user of the system which is the admin so we will see so changing the activity so user first name and then concatenated the last name concatenated with a random string so generating random string of um, unique uh, the unique and the unique id not, not this one unique id we can give it uh, yeah we need id just add a prefix yeah i think cli yeah so every every string or every random string will come with the prefix of cli we just import our user class to ensure that uh, app user yeah now the next thing is to write our for loop for loop we could have used laravel factory user factory to generate this but i prefer to go with this do it this way it just gives me control over what i'm doing so for i zero i is equal to 10,000 i plus plus so uh so i'm gonna do so is i'll prefer to create another function then i put in my auditory query create uh my query my insert query or my create query uh, eloquent create so just drag this whole code here and just bring it down then the function or i will ensure the function picks a parameter of um user 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 okay so for i zero zero so say dd just dim the dumb this one here i just go to my terminal and test to ensure that my four loop is actually working okay so it actually worked uh -huh. so the next thing to do is to just clear my, close my um close my tab remove my dd then uh, go ahead and execute my statement so i just call the function this populate i just pass in the user variable so for all the 10,000 records, we're gonna, it's going to use one user and generate an audit log for that particular user, 100,000 insets, sorry, 10,000 insets. Afterwards, we will come back, we come and do 100,000. So, um, DB table, so yeah, so I will need to truncate the audit trail table to see it. So anytime I run, I don't want to um overload the table with so much records so anytime i run the cedar it truncates whatever it truncates the table empties the records and generates new records and uh, and just does the insert then afterwards what we would we will do is to is to test our system is to test our system with the export to see how good or uh, how how well the system responds so here i got an error because of the table name supposed to be audit trails okay so since that means my my i'm able to call the table and truncate it here yeah 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 so we are getting ready to run our cedar so let me just go through and to ensure that everything is going on well okay so now go to our terminal PHP as on DVC. Uh, so before that, I would just like to put in some comments. Uh, um, so just to, so the purpose of all this is to truncate it, you know, empty the table, mm, truncate audit table, truncate audit table. Then the next one is to, yeah, find the first user, which is mostly the admin user or the root user then populate the db with our necessary records with 100,000, 10,000 oh, data mm, with records uh, yeah, this is self-explanatory so i know you guys are smart you get it so yeah always add let's run our cedar to take a while for it to complete but let's see how fast it goes 
so we just waiting hmm. one two three four okay it's done so it just populated how many ten thousand records um, that's fast yeah it also depends on the the power of your machine hmm. does not really matter now yeah okay it's a db uh what else so echo echo something so i'm just testing my function to make it more lively so that so that while it is important we will be able to see um the progress so far yeah with level um artisan commands you can see the progress bar there's a command to a code to use to look at the progress bar in terms of percentages so just echo creating data for username we add slash n uh, so here we'll just bring one username so what we're gonna do is to just add the id the id the id is very important we need the id so that at every instance we know we are left to allow 100,000 5,000 to go and all that so i'm gonna change this creating user for instead of username you know just put i the i the creating creating data with i okay so let's run it again 21,000, 30,000, 40,000, 60,000, 70,000 going and going and going so 99 but we also need to include the, the 10,000th record <laughs> so say yeah equal to less than or equal to uh, so let's refresh let's see so we have 1,002 10,000 and, and two records we try to excel export yeah, there you go fine exported all right we open the records and let's see so while we wait for excel to open mm, so you can see our data intact here there's no record loss now the challenge will come when data table cannot handle a lot of records because it needs to pick all the records and write them to an excel file which causes php to run out of memory yeah it is not advisable to set your php memory limit to infinity because uh, probably um php is not the only server that's running on the server the other applications the other processes running as well so we need to find maybe a library or package that can handle this I mean, there's PHP Redis, PHP um, Redis, uh, yeah, was it Redis that can allow you to do all that. So just to, so if you increase the limit to the to hundred thousand, okay. So we have eight. Now we are ten thousand, twelve thousand, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Still, was a little a bit of lag there. So let's wait for it to finish. <laughs> 26, 27, 30, 5, 7, hmm. So that's the beauty of it. So here by here, while the thing is executing, um, you'll be able to tell where it got to until the issue, whatever happened, happened. You get it? Now, um, um, when it's time for us to export, you'll be getting errors like out of memory. Yeah, because PHP has exhausted its memory limit. As I said, it can increase the memory limit. But instead of going through all these whole processes, Python can uh, help you do everything faster. So let's try our export again. This time we have 100,003 records. So, wow say so that local host is currently unable to handle requ this request see so we have http error 500 so let's refresh let's refresh refresh let's try again uh yes same error let's go back and try again or oh, we may end up checking the laravel.log and see what is happening there so this storage cd storage log so let's uh tell man is laravel.log Mm, you don't really see anything so let's start again allowed memory limits uh, memory size of blah 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 by exhausted so this is the same error that is happening so anytime we try to export a very large data with data tables in laravel this day 
most of the time the error that you get happy are you have a very powerful server allocated enough memory enough resources to your php but if you are using a c panel or a shared hosting on mba vps you may not have all the resources available and probably you'll be hosting other application on your server as well so this is the error that we are facing now with our current setup of php as i said we can increase the php memory limit but that is not why we are here we are here to show that with issues like this we can handle it with data tables um the same thing i apply to the print Han can handle it with python have your python script sitting in your maybe a lot of a project then we by the use of maybe shell exec in php we trigger the python script it converts your data from whatever format it is in the db into an enrich it into write it into sorry an excel file a set file so yeah so that is it guys for today so in our next video we're going to uh, go fully into implementing our python script so we see i'm gonna install python on our machine um i mean i'm using mac so if you're using windows or using linux do the same for the linux version okay so that's it for today see you guys in the next video if you like this video kindly like subscribe and share thank you